On this Two Cent Tuesday, I wanted to talk to you about how to install a collapsible shelf in your RV. I took out our queen size bed and put in a king size bed because we have the dogs that sleep with us. Bill was sleeping on the nightstands, which you shouldn't be sleeping on the nightstands. It just, it wasn't working for us as a queen size bed. I ended up taking the end tables out, putting in this, this king size bed. I added the shelves above the bed thinking that he could stick his coffee there and it works. I take coffee to Bill every morning in bed and he was asleep and I was having to lean over the top of him and try to get the coffee on the shelf. So for that, that shelf was not working. Then I got to thinking, how could I make him a shelf to put here we could put his coffee on. The slide comes in, so you couldn't actually put a shelf here because it had to move out of the way for the slide to work. That's what made me start thinking about these collapsible shelf brackets is we're gonna end up putting the collapsible shelf brackets. I wanna make sure that I'm hitting on the studs. And so there, it makes you feel real good, doesn't it, that's how that's. There is a stud here, and then there is another stud right here. So I wanna make sure that I hit on the studs because I want this to be in the studs so that it holds when I screw it in. Found it. <laughs> this is, this, I love our king size bed, but it is a lot harder to, uh, move around in, for sure. <laughs> Hit that stud, which I'm glad. All right, and then let me get this one. Go grab a level. And I just got a one by eight that I cut down to the length that I wanted. And then I just took a sander and kind of beveled all the edges so that it wasn't rough. And I had to just go get me a level. I can make sure my shelf is level. Just making sure that it flips down good. Make sure that they're level this way. That was hard. All right, I got my shelf up here. And then it goes all the way down. It's definitely gonna clear it. So then we have a shelf when we need it. I have to make sure that I put it down before I let in the slide and I'll probably put a little note on the slide. Make sure shelf's down or something. It's just to be one of those things that I can't check. But I like that when I push it down, you have, like, it gets to right there and it gets kind of hard. And then you push it and that'll keep it from popping up. Cause I was worried about it like popping and beating up against this going down the road, but it looks like that will not happen. Perfect. This shelf will work exactly what I need. I really think that this shelf is going to work great. And I had saw on one of the YouTube groups that somebody was asking about where they could put their CPAP machine. This would be the perfect thing to put it on if you were traveling and you needed a place to put it. I think that it would reach, I guess. I don't do a CPAP machine, so I don't know. Some of you tell me in the comments below whether or not you can be this far away with a CPAP machine. Well, I'm excited about that little addition. That worked. The thing with RVing is you may try something and it doesn't work, but don't give up. Try something different. I thought that shelf would work and it did not. So then I had to think of something else to do like this shelf. This is perfect that it flips down and gets out of the way so that when I'm making the bed and stuff, it will be not in my way. 
because I have to say making a king size bed is a lot harder than making a queen size bed in here, but it is so worth the five minutes of pain trying to make it up for the eight hours of good sleep at night. I want one on my side now. There's just no place to put one. If you like how the bedroom looks, go check out our RV series on remodeling our bedroom. Till next time, like and subscribe.